Hi everyone, welcome to Pompomus Market. Way too early on a Sunday morning. What's with markets on Sunday mornings? <laughs> Let's go see it. We're here anyway. <laughs> there, there are shops out here where they're selling clothes and things, but I've just noticed over here a motorbike guy with a queue. He must have something to eat. And it is the kind of market where you might get run over. <laughs> and they've got some really nice clothes here. Dresses and summery pants. Well, this is the reason there's a queue. Fresh Dolperies. Oh, the perfect breakfast. Pampomo's market, really, really early on a Sunday morning. Wow, look at the pretty mountains. It's chaos of traffic down there. Yeah. And we spent like half an hour looking for a parking. Okay, so Pampomo's, let's just turn all the way around. Yeah, so we so can... So you can see the gardens behind us there. Wow, Pampomo's is really green. Yeah, have a look here. That's us! <laughs> Hello! and start flying across the market from a top-down perspective. Oh, it moves a lot faster than the picture. Yeah. It's like it's gone. <laughs> that's what the market looks like. Oh, Pampumus Market. Pampumus Market. And it's so busy. And it it's is. so early. You can still see us. <laughs> hey, buddy. Okay, so we're going to bring you down. Bird. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, you're interfering. Oh, well, they're oh, not happy. <laughs> There's a queue, but I'm thinking of getting one anyway. Dolpuri? Yeah. Yeah, let's stop. The Dolpuris look good. I'm going to stand in queue. Pretty nice summer dresses. It's lovely. I wonder if it's got a price. Not too much to ask for. Well, I'm waiting in queue for the Dolperies. Ricky's over there shopping. Okay, so he came and said these are 600. That's not bad. And he's got quite a few. Really practical for uh, summer in Mauritius. Dresses. Oh, wow, look at these as well. Perfect for the beach. Check this out. I've never seen this. It's a fan and a light. Yes. So it creates light and keeps you cool. How cool is that? You never know what you can find at a market. So there is a parking lot <laughs> where in theory you could come and park, but it's like chaos. People are parked everywhere and I think a lot of them are the merchants that have parked just so everybody's pretty much parked on the street. I must say they do have a great selection of clothes and t-shirts as well. I might go see if this place has got some t-shirts for Brian. Really nice shorts. Baguette. I know that is a spice in Eastern Europe. Right, there you go on a t-shirt. But anyway, so their t-shirts are 125 and these really nice shorts are 350 pockets and stuff new ingredients are arriving <laughs> keeping it fresh oh and more of the red brian is still waiting for dolphins i could have like bought the whole clothing market by now <laughs> Absolutely cannot wear a mask and sunglasses in this humidity. Who with chili? <laughs> I'm getting yeah, better. That's the chili. The red is the chili. And man, he put loads on. <laughs> He's gonna suffer. Put it together. Yes, please. Ah, uh, the chili is going first. Uh huh. Looks like a nice chili. Eat here. Okay. Uh, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> Eat here, yeah. No, we'll take it like that. Pampumus Dalpuri. 
They, they're the double ones as well. It's just hard to tell because they're so massive and they're hot. They're actually hot. How do you get it hot on the street? Who knows? The sun? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. They're good. They, they must have been freshly made because they taste so fresh. Oh, nice. Mm. And all the chilies dripping down onto Ricky's. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh. Mm. oh, it's great. <laughs> it really is good. Yeah, markets, oh, early man. morning, dulpery. Mm. This is where you get your dulperies. Mm -hmm. Come early. <laughs> oh, Ricky. He's going to try it. Oh, we didn't get a close-up of the inside. Mm -hmm. You can't hold two. No. So they come as two. Oh, and look how that's got the flakiness. It is. There's it's a so gap puffy. in between there. Yeah, puffy. Look at them. Yeah. So it's actually like four layers. Yeah. With the dull in the center. And then look at the sauce on the inside. Yeah, he's put loads. It's just way too much. It's just going to ooze everywhere. Yeah. And the, half of that's chili. White <laughs> shirts. Oh, yeah. Look at Ricky in her white shirt. <laughs> Just going to step back a bit. Let's learn a little bit from the Mexicans. Uh, not going to help Rick, it's too full, it is too full. <laughs> oh man! Stop drawing attention to me. No, sorry Rick. Rick, everyone look at you as you try to eat your dulpuri. <laughs> Chili get you. <laughs> Give you a minute, walk it off, walk it off. I'm sure they sell a Luda somewhere. <laughs> it's, mm, On your limit. It's a nice chili, but... Ooh, it's like <laughs> all in the back of the mouth, like tingly. Uh -huh. It's really good. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you don't get a serviette. Mm. So Brian's kind of trying to clean the... Ooh. Not to put my mask back on that chili on my lips. Like, <laughs> oh no, hang on. Sorry, officer. I couldn't wear. I can't wear my mask. <laughs> the chili on my lips in that heat. <laughs> oh, oh wow. That's a new experience. Yeah. <laughs> Do any of you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> ah. Ow. Juice. Juice. Yes. Even though we waited 15 minutes in the queue, we're going to be waiting a lot longer if we were there now. Oh man, the whole outside area is just packed with knickknacks and things. Well, not actual knickknacks, but tubs and mops and clothes pegs and little little pots, a steel tea mug. Oh man, and a tiffin. Yeah, this is the part of the veg market. They actually have the roofs and things. Oh, Margot's 25 a pound. Expensive, Rick. I think maybe we'll miss them. Nice cucumbers. Nice cucumbers for 25. And then fruits. But we'll check it all out. You can actually get your Sunday paper. Bonjour. Uh, correct. Sunday paper right next to the Dolpuri. So you got a Dolpuri guy here Dal as well. Very good. But there's a long queue here as well. <laughs> Slightly older apples, five rupees. That's well, pretty cool as you got the veggies here. But you got some plants growing up there. <laughs> oh, cool. Have a look what I found. They're 25 rupees for these. I can't remember what they're called. Very rare. Thank you. <laughs> I just want thanks. Uh, what is the name? 25 rupees. Just got a piece of cactus and some seeds. Oh, lady finger seeds. Lady finger seeds. Lady finger seeds. Thank and you. The cactuses. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
And you get a little seed, sour. What does it taste like? Like a... Um, you can't describe it. <laughs> okay, you just said to someone else what it was called. It's broussaille. Broussaille? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> I think they're not ripe yet. Okay. <laughs> There's the aluda that you can get, and they've got some gata pima and the aubergine. The aubergine, and she's actually cooking them here. Oh, lovely looking uh, granadillas. That's from a home tree. And some beautiful smelling thyme. This is actually interesting. It's gata pima, but she's actually putting the hole in them. So they're proper gata pima, like the old traditional style. You can see it is just in Mauritius. Yes, yes. But you see how she puts the hole in? That's the traditional yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Madam, I'm flying my bus here, madam. And those are the gatta pima with the hole in them. That's how they end up, so they're extra crispy all the way around. Wow, here you've got great bananas, five rupees, and some of the smaller ones, three rupees each, and the bigger ones at seven rupees each. Those look nice. It does look like through there, there are some toilets, in case you were wondering. Well, there's definitely ladies. <laughs> Wow, that is a whole bucket of fresh cold milk that she's making a luda with. I think these are chanapuris. Is this chanapuri? Dikwa. These are dikwa. I don't even know what that is. She put something inside. You can make it. Okay. Dal. Okay, so this is dal and they put it inside the bread. Dikwa. Wow, that sounds. Wait, is this is it. This. And this is. Once it's fried, it ends up like this. Huh? I will try one. How much? Dikwa. So, this is dikwa. How much? Oh, thank you so much. Right? I got a dikwa. There we are. It's like a bigger dal puri, but it's fried. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh wow. I mean, let me see. Uh, I can't see him putting it in. Oh man. Smell from here is just amazing. Yeah. Oh, and it's so hot and wow. It's too hot. It's a hot dikwa straight out of the. Oh man. I've got curry leaf next to it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's... <laughs> ah, too close, too close. Hot. Oh. Is it bread? Mm. It's. I think it's sweet. It's sweet. With some spices, yeah. Okay. Dikwa. It's called dikwa. Dikwa. Never seen it before. Very nice. Mm, it's very, very nice. nice. But it's a little you, bit sweet. You could take tea with that. That would be very nice. Tea. tea. With this. Absolutely. Does anyone have tea here? No, 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 no tea. No. You must just take it home and make your own tea. Make oh. your own tea. I sometimes I take it with tea. Or coffee. Tea coffee. Good idea. Take coffee. it with tea. This will be really nice. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Yeah. It smells like, I don't know if it's just because I'm close to this. It smells like curry leaf. <laughs> I think there's cumin. Oh, it looks like cumin on the outside. Mm. 
definitely spicy, but the filling is, is slightly sweet. Okay. It's crazy nice. <laughs> well, I can see that you're eating it all. We only got one. Mm. Oh. oh, man. Mm. Never had that before. Magical. Like a, a dull, full, sweet donut. So that's the doll inside. Steam pouring out. It's quite unique. It's got very, very much donut-y. Like a donut? Yeah, donut tins. Okay. I'm dying to try it. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, it is exactly like a donut. <laughs> I really like this. Mm-hmm, me too. Mm. How great does this bread look? Definitely gonna get some of that. I tell you what, if you haven't, come to the bottom end of the market at Pampumus and get yourself a dikwa. It is amazing. What are you doing? Ricky's getting something, but the dikwa, you've got to come and try a dikwa. Good. Oh, look at that. Oh, I couldn't. Oh, thank you. What is that? It's a really nice crispy um, potato smoothie. Okay. I think I've got the same one. Mm. I'll give it a try. But they're cooking them fresh right here in the market. Very good. Oh man. This is a great samosa because it's really nicely filled with the potato and the batter is so thin and crispy. Well done, Pamplemus Market. That is an awesome find. There are these um, coverings for the actual stands for like shade, but I can imagine if it rained, everyone would get pretty wet because there's no coverings in between these coverings. <laughs> So we're finally doing it. We're getting some margos. Buying a pound of them because we're scared. <laughs> uh -huh. We got margos. We got margos. Gonna fry it with some onions. Of course. After draining it with salt a bit. Huh. On the hunt for some onions. Found onions. Next to halibut. What is this stuff? What do you do with it? I don't know. I have all the multicolored peppers that we're getting now. All different colors because they're all intermingling. 20 rupees each. Huh. 50 a pound for these beautiful looking tomatoes. And the slightly better peppers, 25. Uh, it is worthwhile heading all the way to the end because the deals are everywhere. So just look around, you'll find something. It isn't such a big market that you can't walk everywhere. Uh. This is a sweet shop where they have all sorts of sweets I've never seen before. But have a look at this. They're called corn sticks. You get a cheese flavor or a roast flavor or... I don't know, it's so interesting. And other weird things that are here. Oh man. They're also selling cold cokes in their so, container. Get a nice cold drink. Someone's actually making fresh putu here. They're stuffing it and then steaming it. Oh wow. This is the actual steamer for the putu. She's actually yeah, making yeah, it right there. She can do the steam. Wow. Wow. Oh man, that is amazing. Oh here he is, he's getting one. Oh I'm just gonna I'm just... Oh man. So this is it, this is it coming out. Oh he's gotta push it with a stick. Oh wow. Oh wow. That is like hot and steaming. That is amazing. Oh man. Fresh putu right here in Pampumus. And then he puts coconut, he rolls it in coconut. He's 
string. Oh wow. Oh wow. So quick. Or is he just marking it? I think he's cutting it. No, I don't think so. Oh, we see now. <laughs> to see if it. Oh my word, it they were cut. It. He actually cut them. Oh wow! <laughs> Good to everyone. Made here at the market. You can see behind him. We're going awesome. to get them then. So while he's cutting Putu behind, because I've tried this before. I know it crumbles. Ricky is going to try some. Cut. Mm. <laughs> Oh, it's nice. It's good. Mm. Awesome. It's and it's savory, made. It's and like um, sticky rice and coconut. Okay. Mm. Good. It's great with a curry, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rick. <laughs> mm. Oh. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can definitely dunk that in something. A nice curry. I was thinking. And the putu is popular when it starts coming out. Cues for. And in case you guys are watching from South Africa, I know we have a putu thing. It's not quite like that, but it's actually quite reminiscent. Uh, but imagine like a pup with a bit of coconut in it. And it's kind of like that. <laughs> I saw them already. It's like crumble pup with coconut. Crumble pup with coconut. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Uh huh. Putu. Putu. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that is. It's like a tree leaf. More huh. Oh, moringa maybe. It's Moringa. Moringa, what's the name? Kokom, Kokom. Okay, so it showed me it's bread maung. Bread maung? I must look up what you do with that. Now I know where to get it. So wow, Pumpelmus Market, another market with great new food discoveries. Things we've never seen and eaten before. Yes, guys. It does really get hectic, so come early like we did. It might still be busy, but it's not quite as busy as it is now. Market spilled over into Main Street. <laughs> right, so Pampumus in the middle of the north, the intestine of the island, as the guy said. <laughs> There's the botanical gardens, and that is the market. Oh, cool. I'll show drone Zoom footage in here. And there are There's no the cars road. there. I know, <laughs> that's why I'm like, there's loads of parking, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> but we parked like in the trees somewhere. <laughs> wow, Pampumus Market, it gets really busy. Well, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Ah, wow.